Welcome back to Primetime News, a special welcome to folks on OnespotMedia.com. Up first, weeks after the government reduced the fare for passengers of the Jamaica Urban Transit Company, commuters in St. Catherine claim the bus system is in shambles. They hope that better transportation is on the agenda ahead of the local government elections. The Sunshine City living up to its moniker, scorching temperatures forcing commuters in Portmore to do just about anything to seek shade from the sun. This bus stop, only a frame of its former self, offered no protection from the elements. And the bus stop not even good. Not to carry with just turn. Don't refer to sit down. Elderly people stand up at the bus stop. Them weak out, them weak out, and them can't afford the three hundred dollar pan taxi fare. The commuters are all waiting for a JUTC bus, but the arrival of the buses appears to be a mystery. We don't have a bus system. We stand up at the bus stop for much hours. Can't get a bus. Taxi them around the thing, and the taxi fare not changed. Do them lower the bus fare? Still not make a difference. All uh, two hours me out here, I don't know where the bus them disappear to. It's, it's like when they leave here, to, for the, they leave going to town. They leave to say that it's a town bus, and when they come in back, it's a half a tree bus. So when you say, I oh, want tree gone, and that tree come back, is a tree A, you're not going the direction where you have your whole body and soul away upon it. Because more people are taking the bus because it's less fair, but there's still no bus. So but I just see where the damn people go up them very day. So it's, it, it's good and it's bad. On January 1, 2024, the JUTC bus fare for adults moved from 100 Jamaican dollars to $70. Fares for students in uniform from $30 to $25. And for pensioners from $40 to $30. The government has indicated that the reduction was an attempt to cushion the effects of the public transportation sector fare increase. Also in 2023, 50 new buses were added to the JUTC fleet to help improve the system. However, like the people in Portmore, commuters in Spanish Town St. Catherine stressed that not much has changed. Only the new buses, they're pretty. And they're comfortable, just the same like the old ones. However, there's no improvement in the time that we get the buses. Most times I have to walk over near the clock and get another bus to go, which I have to pay $150 to get out to the hospital. The bus system gets so slack. Yeah, the bus system, you would hear all the wait all two and a half or two hours. Because it's all the while that happened to me, so I don't know about nobody else, so I can't tell about myself. With the local government elections just weeks away, residents are hoping something will be done to prioritize public transportation. They need to fix that area. When TVJ News contacted the Jamaica Urban Transit Company about the concerns raised, we were told the delays are due to limited buses being available for service. The company says it anticipates the arrival of the additional buses and the refurbishing of existing buses to deliver better service to commuters. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.